Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I am Dr. Mohammad Mehtab Alam and I am discussing about Introduction to Medical Ethics. So, revitalization. In order to define, teach and access professionalism, it is imperative and understand generational differences, pinpoint, conflict and determine a more effective definition of professionalism acceptable to all. Individual from different generation skew different goals, but grant individuals are no less professionals or altruistic than their pre uh, predecessors. Their core of professionalism remains intact. Revitalizing professionalism like faculty development criticals, system of evaluations, professional tone and awareness set from the top and a strong institutional support. Cognitive based revitalizing profession, cognitive should be cognitive based, experiential learning, learning by doing, then continuity, not without any breaks, then role modeling and mentorship. All these are the points for revitalizing professionalism. The time honored characteristic of a profession has three special characteristics three main characteristics like a specialized education, autonomy to set a standard and commitment to services. Profound changes in the delivery of healthcare have introduced real and significant challenges in regard to medical professionalism. Then genuine medical professionalism is in peril. The hidden curriculum must be recognized, discussed and addressed. The 21st century demands a revitalization of medical professionalism which can and must be accomplished in our academic health centers and herein lies our futures. At its best, a professional life enables the individual freedom to find fulfillment as one advances the well-being of society. The person who succeeds in becoming a professional, mastering its standard and aims achieves a substantial focus for living and that's all about professional conduct if you have any questions you can ask